All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Look, if you're anything like me, then you enjoy wearing fragrances. You enjoy smelling good, you enjoy the compliment factor, and just the social aspect of it in itself. Listen, there are a ton of fragrances out there on the marketplace, and understanding what fragrances you can wear to specific places can be difficult. So today, we're gonna discuss 10 inoffensive fragrances that you can wear in the workplace. So before we get into the list, I wanna throw a few things out there. Obviously, if you're a first responder, you work in a hospital or something like that, then this list may not be for you. Also, I try to make sure this list was affordable nothing too crazy out there a lot of you guys don't want to spend a ton of money especially for fragrances that you're gonna wear for work these things may be your daily drivers so I got some affordable things I got some great things I got some things that smell amazing and you will enjoy them the first fragrance I wanted to discuss with you guys today is a recent acquisition and one that I've been truly enjoying in fact when I received it I wasn't expecting to like it at all but I was wrong the fragrance comes from Al Haramai and it's Neroli canvas in fact this one replaced artisan period on today's list this one is clean it's inviting it's refreshing and it has good staying power not only would this one work great in a work environment but it's also a solid daily driver now you guys may remember this one from the unboxing video where it made the missus say she wants to get in the shower this one is clean man this one is sexy it's attractive and it's always great to be attractive when you're around people and because I knew some of you guys out there would enjoy this fragrance, I actually reached out to my people over at Sniff's Perfume to see if they can hook you guys up with a discount code, and he obliged. So if you're looking to pick this one up, I was able to secure 35% off of the retail pricing. In addition to that, he's also going to toss in a one ounce bottle of the Aventus clone from Al Haramai, and that one is Laventure. And also because you're my people and you rocking with me, he's also going to hook you up with a lot of samples from the classic Al Haramai line and some of their newer releases the code is bbb if you're looking for this one i will link it below sniffperfume.com but this one is a solid fragrance and number 10 on today's list and the number nine spot we got givenchy gentleman edt this one is a masculine woody floral fougere and it truly deserves a spot on today's list it's a gentlemanly mix of pear orris leather lavender and patchouli this one says i'm confident which is a great attribute in business there's some iris in this one as well and that leather just brings a nice balance this is the gentleman for the gentleman in the workplace. Number nine spot. Tom Ford's Great Vetiver takes the number eight spot, and to me, this one is a business professional in a bottle. It's an elegant and refined blend of citrus and woods, and I'm specifically referring to the EDP concentration. It projects, it's inoffensive, and smells like class, and it's great for the professional environment. The fragrance in the number seven spot comes from the house of Guerlain, and it's Lome Ideal Intense. This one is spicy, it's sweet, and it's smoky. This one is masculine, it's luxurious, and it's distinguished. I like this one a lot, man. I told you guys in the unbox video that I thought this one was dope and it's a great fragrance this one actually replaced the Prada Luna Rosa black on today's list and I am really enjoying it this one is a EDP concentrations auto parfum this one is going to get you throughout your day it has nice longevity performance is good it projects to just let people know that you a boss when you want to smell like sophisticated you want to smell like hey look at me okay this is the one that you want to smell like man I like this one a lot um, black bottle black Black cap really enjoy this one loam ideal intense the number six fragrance on the list is Valentino Womo intense this one just draws everything about itself from elegance Italian elegance the bottle is elegant the smell is elegant the name is elegant and what better place to smell elegant is in a work environment now on a lot of these fragrances that we're discussing today you have like dominant notes you have notes of like leather right you have cardamom any some of these fragrances and what happens here these fragrances they are done so masterfully well where you can wear it you can wear it into the workplace and smell great the good thing about this one it has a lot of notes in it that make you smell attractive that make you get noticed and that's a great place to be when people are around you a lot listen man some of you guys work in cube farms you know some of you guys are you know top of your corporate ladders and this is one that will work in any situation this one has black leather vanilla bean iris tonka mandarin and sage oil this one again Again, smells elegant I truly enjoy this one um, I don't have a full review on this one so I need to get that out to you guys but as you know I have this one I have the original I also have the aqua version and they are all great this one's a solid one for the workplace especially when you're suit and tie and you're ready to go number six spot Valentino Womo tense the number five fragrance is probably one that you would never expect to see on my list but I got to give in and give credit where it's due now I will also give you alternatives to this fragrance that I'm about to 
mention, for those of you who've been around on this channel, you may know what I'm referencing. This fragrance comes from Dior, and this one is Dior Sauvage EDP. Yes, this is the Eau de Parfum concentration, and in my personal opinion, I think this is one is a slightly better for work. Now, I told you guys to not purchase this fragrance if you had the EDT. Why? Because you don't need to. If you have the EDT, then wear that one to work, right? If you have the EDP and you didn't purchase the EDT, then this is a great one for work, but I do believe the EDT is better for your casual wear, you're out and about. You're gonna scream a little bit more, you're gonna be a little bit more in your face. This one's a little bit more refined, if you ask me. Just like the original, this one is an Ambroxan Bomb. This one is wrapped in a little bit of smoky nuances and you have some amber in here as well. This one settles down a little bit more than the original if you ask me and one I think you can get away with. Now, if you're not looking to spend the inflated price point on something like this, then you can always pick up Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. And if you guys have been around for a while, then you know that I prefer Carbon over the original Dior Sauvage. So just my personal thoughts and opinions, wear which one you will because they are all kind of alone on those same lines, but I prefer Carbon over Sauvage, but this one may be a little bit easier for you guys to find out there. Number five spot, Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. The number four spot is reserved for Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This one is a woody oriental fragrance that captures the essence of a professional man in power. It's leather, patchouli, amber, coriander, plum, and fig. In my opinion, this one is not only great for the office, this one is mysterious and seductive as well. Spray this one on when you dress to the nines and you're feeling like like a boss. The number three fragrance is Coach for Men, and I would tell you to spray this one on when you're going into the office and you want to get compliments. This one is a great office fragrance if you're going to do like casual day, you're dressing down, anything of that nature, you can spray this one on, go in there, and really not offend anyone. This one is light, it projects a bit, it does have some Ambroxan in it, so it's familiar with some of the more popular fragrances out there, and again, I've been telling you guys since this one released in 2017, since I did the the actual video I did the unboxing the full review I told you guys over and over again and this one is going to be a winner hopefully you listen and you picked it up dope fragrance from the house of coach definitely one that you can wear in the work environment and it will perform this next fragrance on the list can easily be swapped between this flank or any of the ones that have come before it. this fragrance comes from Chanel and it's Blue de Chanel Parfum if you've been around this channel then you heard me speak about the compliment factor with this one and my personal opinion out of the three this one is the best I know some of you guys prefer the Eau de Parfum versus the Parfum but at any rate you can wear any of these to work and smell great in my opinion this one opens up fresh but maintains this warmth throughout the life of the fragrance to me this is one of the best fragrances i picked up so far this year and obviously it's one of the best for the office according to me and we finally made it to the end of the list which means i have one fragrance left yes one and you guys probably know what this one is because you haven't seen it on the list yet this one comes from the people over at armani and this one is aqua de joe profumo this one is class this one is elegance. This one is sophistication. This one is everything that you need in a work environment. It projects, it's light, it's still subtle. I know that's difficult to explain, but man, this one is a very nice fragrance. Listen, my wife was not a complete fan of this one originally, but over time, she's learned to like it. And I think in a work environment, professional setting, this one just smells professional. This one smells like something you can wear, right? And you should be wearing it in a work environment. This one is dope because it meets all the requirements you can wear this to work daily driver date night whatever you want this one is going to work for you. I feel like this one is a great fragrance to wear and obviously it's number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's list. If you're looking to pick these fragrances up, I'll have them linked below. And remember the uh, Neroli Canvas. You guys got a good promo on that. I'll link that one below for you guys as well. And if you're looking to get yourself one of these big beer business merchandise shirts, it's all linked below, man. It's all there. I got some new ones loaded up in case you haven't seen them yet. Look, man, you guys asked for merch and I made it happen. It's done. It's there. Available for you. All you got to do is click on the goddamn button. Support the channel. Support us. Be a part of this B gang. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beer B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back. Once again, and hopefully you enjoyed this list. Hopefully this will help you out when you go to work. Otherwise, I'm sorry. Hit the goddamn bell.